Hey, this is what's that so let me get some light over here. Don't want to deprive y'all of all the splendor. Oh. Uh, and I don't want people grabbing because hey the video's fuzzy. This is important though. Uh, let's assume that there's an organization out there that's made up of lawyers and they call themselves ABA. Like ABBA. Uh Ball. Y'all figure out if I already know. And they come up with a resolution that has been adopted and that they're trying to push through. Y'all know what it is? Revised 118B. Oh, there's the cat. It's got pokey feet. Resolved that the American Bar Association, oops, I think that's all ball. Local territory or urge state, local, territorial, tribal governments to enact statutes, rules, or regulations authorizing courts to issue gun violence restraining orders, including ex parte orders, that include at least the following at least the following provisions: that a person, a petitioner, with documented evidence that another person, a respondent, poses a serious threat. To himself or herself or others may petition a court for an order order temporarily suspending the respondent's possession of a firearm or ammunition that there shall be a verifiable procedure to ensure the surrender of firearms and ammunition pursuant to the court order and that the issuance of the gun violence restraining order shall be reported to appropriate state and federal databases in order to prevent respondent from passing a background check required to purchase a firearm or obtain a firearm license or permit while restraining order is in effect. There's a whole bunch more. They're saying that they want to make sure that there shall be a verifiable procedure to ensure the surrender of firearms and ammunition pursuant to the court order. Uh, and the, uh, the, all that the person that wants your guns taken away from that a person, a petitioner with a documented with documented evidence that another person respondent poses a serious threat to himself or herself or others may petition a court for an order temporarily suspending the respondent's possession of a firearm or ammunition. Um, with documented evidence, what would be the outline for the documented evidence? They're trying to push another back door in to take away your shotgun and your deer rifle the end uh, we're you know the say the city of New York or the commonwealth of Cucamonga sees you at a pro save the towelette rally you know, the oily thing you use to wipe down your gun. And so Auntie Faye, yeah, Auntie Faye shows up, and next thing you know, there's some hoorah and stuff, and you lose your cool, and you're yelling back at Antifa and stuff. Next thing you know, uh, these people are potentially dangerous to these other people. We've got documented proof that they own guns and they don't like them. So we need to pull them until they learn their lesson. Until they can prove that they're not going to use their guns against somebody else. That's what I read, and I read the whole thing. I went through the whole thing down here. It's like, all you got to do 
is type it in the search bar resolution 118B. There it is. And this is national. They're wanting, they want my town to do it. They want your town to do it. They can't control. They can't. They've already, they failed so many times at saying you can't own a gun. Now it's going fine. You can own it. But if we think you're going to use it anyway we don't like, oh, we're going to pass law says we can take it away. That's what that says. Uh, we need to be doing some phone calling and some letter writing. No. No to the no-no. This is a no-no piece of paper. This is a no. No. Uh, and there's only way and way one way to shut this down. You gotta get. You have got to hammer. And I don't mean like put a hammer hammer. I mean like verbally. You've got to go to your city council meeting and you gotta say no. We do not want this. You've got to write your councilman. And you've got to write your senator. You've got to write your mayor. You've got to write your governor. The assistant governor. You gotta write the attorney general. You gotta write the bar association. I mean, you gotta flood them. I mean, get their email. Just damn, just hammer them and say no, no, no to the no no. Tell them just enforce the laws you got out there already. They snuck in so many things right now that. Heck, you can go to jail just for defending yourself, people. Now they're saying they're just going to take the guns away before you need to defend yourself. <laughs> Under the guise that they, they're, they're going to be taken away from people that might be suicidal or mad at their ex-wife. The guys that pop off and go crazy and start using firearms to do stuff like that, they didn't buy the guns legal anyway. They're the kind of guys that bought the guns so they could have them, so they could use them. They're not you and me who, just because you have one bad day, they can come in and take every deer rifle you got. That's what that says. Your ex-wife, your stepkid, uh, your neighbor can. And it says documented. That means they go down and they put a file, they fill out a police report saying that you were walking around in your backyard. Oh, West Ash? He had a 22 rifle slung over his shoulder walking around in his backyard acting like he was going to shoot something. Probably because he was, this raccoon or something. But there's, there's the documented evidence. that I might poses poses that I might be a danger to somebody that's it one one eight B yeah. so Wes has I don't do these kind of videos this kind of video that gets you like kicked out the internet. This is not the kind of video that makes friends with people. This is serious. I didn't know about this. My wife found this. Can you know how I just got work? I still got mud on my own. Oh, I'm going to tell you that this can't work. Not for us. Not for patriots. Not for militias. Not for deer hunters. Not for quail hunters. Not for plinkers. Not for anybody. That I mean, this opens the door for your city, county, state, federal courts to say, we're going to take your guns now. 
because your political beliefs obviously prove to us that you're mentally unstable. The NRA is trying to do something about it, but, you know, why did this resolution not make the front page of the news? Why does everybody not already know about that? Why didn't I know about this before it passed? That means that the entire ABA is out there lobbying for this law. That means every high dollar lawyer in the state of Texas. Oklahoma, New Mexico, California, Arizona, Idaho, Washington, Oregon, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, Florida, all 50 of them, and territories, Guam, they're all, they've all decided they're going to lobby and they're going to push this through, they're going to try to make the lawyers, they're going to try to push this through. Lawyers were not, they're not here to, to run our country. They're not, telling, they're not here to tell us how our country is supposed to be run. They're here to interpret and practice the law, not make the law. Not telling us what laws we need. We, the people, decide what laws we need. Not we, the ABA. Y'all have a blessed day. I am going to go take a chill pill now.